Now, I, what I liked about the movie was that it's not these overt CGI moments. It's mm. you know, quite subtle, and you don't actually see a lot of what the apparition is. And right. It, was that sort of what you wanted from the get-go, the approach that you wanted to take? Yeah, that was planned from the start. Of uh, I feel like the, you know some of the best tours more about what you don't see and what's not shown and what's not explained, and really keeping things in the darkness and leaving more up to the audiences imagination and interpretation and um, so it, it you know just really building things and uh, uh, coming at things honestly and authentically and but then the film does start to ramp up and go to the next level and it's you know sort of sort of like you know part poltergeist 30 years on mixed with mm -hmm. a little bit of flatliners and John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness and the strangers and the sort of traces of different styles and decades of films in here but uh, hopefully bringing something new to it and um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what made this, you know, the right movie for your first film, your first feature? Well, uh, I've been, you know, in development on several other films at other studios and, and developing stuff for years and for whatever reason, some of those didn't go, you know, all the way across the start line and, uh, you know, went over to Dark Castle and Warner Brothers there and, you know, met with Joel Silver and he was looking to do a new scary movie and make something quickly and I had uh, told him about this idea I had uh, based on, inspired by some of these real incidents about creating a ghost or creating an apparition and this being this, you know, fresh, terrifying new way into a horror film or a ghost film and people dating back to the 1970s had done these experiments to test the power of belief and fear and how it can cause paranormal uh, events to happen and so I just thought this was uh, you know, really cool stuff, and he responded to that, and it uh, came together very quickly and got, you know, green lit off the second draft, so so this was the first one to go all the way, and, and it, uh, you know, it feels like the right one. It's a good, a good start and foundation. Well, now, I always wonder about people that make films about the supernatural, whether they believe in the supernatural. Is, is the supernatural something that you believe is a real thing? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, and I, uh, you know, from a very young age, I've been into the macabre and the supernatural and paranormal and unknown and cryptozoological stuff and conspiracy type stuff and, and come at this, you know, from an honest place and uh, grew up in Tulsa, Oklahoma and lived in this historic home that was supposedly haunted and mm. experienced all kinds of strange, uh, chilling stuff there. and. So, you know, I drew on some of my own experiences and other people's experiences, and then we, you know, uh, uh, elaborate on some stuff and are just sort of pushing some of these different buttons and trying to push the horror genre forward a little bit, so. Yeah.